My first play for the main stage was uh, was a Boiler Room Suite, which right. is the play that has been done the most. Um, it's had it's been translated into French and Japanese mm -hmm. and Italian and um, and uh, it made an opera out of. So that was the, my first play for the Globe. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, tell it for those who don't know the play. Could you t talk about the, uh, the subject? Oh matter? well, yeah. Uh, I uh, was in a hotel in Regina having lunch. It was an old hotel, and uh, an old man came down the stairs, and uh, he was obviously a resident in the hotel, and he said, "I've been on a voyage of discovery," um, and I had some characters that I had been thinking about for a long time because the summer before I went to New York, I was the, I, I delivered, I was trying to make money. I delivered Coca-Cola. I was the resident uh, in a halfway house for alcoholics, uh, resident director, and, um, wow. and I was preaching on Sundays. Uh, and um, the, uh, uh, the, and I'd heard a story of, from one of the people in the halfway house about an old uh, lady who lived in the basement. She'd pried off plywood from a lower window in an old hotel and gone down, and she'd made a kind of a nest for herself. So when I got the chance to write my first uh, play for the main stage, mm -hmm. um, I used her as a character. Um, uh, two uh, transients uh, in the, a basement of an old hotel, mm -hmm. um, drinking the afternoon away, and imagining all of the people over their heads, right. uh, and uh, in the, as the more they drink, the more fantastic their visions become, right. and. Uh, then finally, they're sort of kicked out, uh, and uh, they go upstairs and try to check in. Uh, and uh, they discover that the hotel has been abandoned for years. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they go, and then there's this final scene with the caretaker of the of the uh, hotel, the janitor, who uh, shares his lunch with them. Uh, in a kind of a, um, a note of reconciliation. Hmm. Where do you think the inspiration for that play came from with Inside You? you, you'd, you, you so you were inspired by this story that was told, but what, is there something uh, that's inside you that you wanted to communicate? When I think about the place that I've written, I think that there's always been uh, an element of hope in the face of the of the human condition mm -hmm. um, that we recognize that we do damage to one another, but that one of the things that I've always wanted to explore and taken a, take taken the audience with me. Um, why I hoped um, mm -hmm. was this notion that if we can work our way through the damage we do to one another, we can find a way to do something that is more supportive, healing, mm -hmm. and creative with one another. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe this is partly my Saskatchewan uh, experience uh, that when you have a few people who can get together, when it doesn't take very many people to make a quorum, yeah. uh, you can uh, do things, you know, you can create community around. And I think that's the way in which theater and religion come for me, to, uh, come together for me as well. Mm -hmm. That if we uh, think of this, uh, this place as a place where people gather around a word, mm -hmm. the word, around um, 
uh, around stories, uh, the stories that start with the Bible, that, but then become uh, up to date in terms of the stories that indicate who we are and what we're going through. Uh, that's, that's church. But it's also theater because we gather a community around the word. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, the, the playwright's word. Mm -hmm. um, but who knows what filtered down to the playwright, <laughs> through the playwright, to the audience. Mm -hmm. But so in Saskatchewan, I had uh, this kind of congregation that uh, uh, I hoped w were waiting for my, <laughs> my word uh, yeah. every year uh, or so. Uh, and uh, so uh, sometimes, you know, I would go through the, uh, through the uh, theater and uh, there'd be a play of mine rehearsing on the main stage there, and in the rehearsal rooms there'd be a couple of the school company troops uh, rehearsing some of the uh, plays for young audiences. Uh, so uh, I, 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 it was a big ego boost, right? <laughs> <Not> <laughs> to walk around the theater and hear all of <coughs> my words. And, and, and uh, you know, I didn't really get sick of them. <laughs>